I'm Jennifer Rossetti. I'm Jordan Rossetti. And um, so did uh, Jordan go, went to school here? I did, yeah. Jordan went to school here and my um, her two older brothers also went to school here. So what are your memories? Oh, wow. Um, oh, the Honeywell Fun Fair, doing the cakewalk, uh, winning the goldfish. Uh, I just remember uh, Miss Shannon and Leo LaMontagne, the principal, and... Um, I had Ellen Cuniff. Um, just uh, really a phenomenal community of people. Do you have a favorite teacher, Jordan? Oh, uh, Miss Shannon, third grade. Why is that? Um... I think she was just so open and loving and friendly, and she was a little, um, how would you describe Miss Shannon? She was just, uh, she knew everybody, and she was just a very fine teacher. Yeah. She had a lot of respect for all the children. So how do you, how do you folks uh, feel about this school closing? Very sad. Yeah. Very, very sad. It's been decades. Yeah, it's a very sad day for us. And, um, yeah, for me particularly to have all of my children begin their public school education here at Honeywell, all the phenomenal families. Um, I just ran into one of my best friends, and I met her uh, when we first brought our oldest children to Honeywell, and uh, just it, the place has a very special place in my heart. Phil Robertson and Steve Robertson. Uh, you guys brothers? We are. We are. Okay, and cool. we had three other brothers that went to this school as well. And what was your experience of the place? I spent a lot of time in the principal's office <laughs> over there. But we remember lots about it. We remember the big tree that was right there that's now gone. Yeah, but, the huge uh, old oak, I think it was. Amazing how many of the architectural details are still here. Yeah. The gymnasium. It's surprising to walk around the halls and, and so much is different, but so much is the same, you know? you have any special memories? Ooh, I think I smoked my first cigarette in the bike rack over there. <laughs> yeah, this was the this was the school we uh, went to when we first moved to town in 1965. Mm -hmm. um, I was here from second grade through fifth, and uh, I was and here from K through five. K through five, yeah. yeah. And uh, you know, lots of I mean, our whole childhoods really. For, for we walked here. We lived I don't know half mile away. Yeah. Walked up the Fullerbrook path to come to the school for years. Yep formative years you know yeah. just, you come here for hours of every day and hang out with your friends and learn from the teachers yep good or bad they're going to be special they're yeah. going to be a big yeah, part of your they're, life they're you know? just a part of your and life they were good. at this point yeah how do you feel with the place uh going away you know it's time uh it, it's you look around and you can see that after all these years there's been some deterioration and obviously they built schools differently back in the 30s than they do today so they had blackboards <laughs> <laughs> they did <laughs> And uh, so I think, you know, it, it, uh, it's a little bit of a, a twinge to think that it's going, but by the same token, I think it's the right thing to do and it makes a lot of sense. But so there's still I a little party and it goes, you know, I met my first girlfriend here. I you know, <laughs> met some of the friends I still have to this day here. Yeah. That's but great. I hope they keep, you know, just the aspects of it, the, the intangible things that kind of made it feel, feel like uh, our old school, you know. He loves it. I remember the fun fairs very the well. The fun fair, yeah. the cakewalk. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. So getting a cake was always like the big thing. <laughs> it's come up a few times. What, what happened in the cakewalk? It was just like you, like I've never before in my life when you're like eight been able to like get, like just you just get, get a, a whole cake. cake. Mm -hmm. You just were able to make it and then you got one. It was a big, would you go out in a circle? It was a big deal. Yeah. 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 A, yeah. You have any favorite teachers or uh, what was your best grade? Miss Bird. Miss Bird. Miss Bird. 100% Miss Bird. Yeah, we all had her. In our student teacher meeting, she told us we have to stop acting like her best friends. <laughs> she her like she was our teacher and not her best friend. Did you guys get that? She thing? left us. Yeah. That's kind of cool, though. I mean, we were obsessed if you, you probably thought about if you thought about it that way, that's pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so how do you feel about the um, shutting the place down? It's really sad, it's sad. honestly. Yeah. I mean, I I understand it, but I think it's it's nice that we've had this opportunity to like 
walk through one more time, mm -hmm. but I think it will be weird knowing that like all of this just won't be here anymore. Yeah. It's weird. Definitely it's needs an upgrade though. Yeah, so it, it does. does. <laughs> <laughs> it needs an upgrade. Yes. Yeah. I'm um, Jack Mark Antonio. I'm Ben Freeman. Henry Ophelmo. Uh, Gavin Dempsey. And so um, you guys all go here? Yeah. Uh, yeah. We used, used to. to. Oh, okay. So how do you feel about the, them closing the place down? Uh, you know, it's old, but like, yeah, it's got a lot of memories in it, but like it's old, you know? So yeah. like, it's gotta be like a better kind of quality for like the people that are coming in here uh, yeah. in later years. Mm -hmm. The new school would be pretty cool, but yeah. it's kind of sad to see it go. When you guys were going here, do you think this place is old? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, um, did you have any uh, favorite uh, classes or anything you, you like to talk about? Uh, I think art with Mr. Nass is pretty cool mm -hmm. in the art classroom. Uh, yeah, I remember um, Mr. Sobo in third grade. That was a pretty good year. So what's your name? My name's Polly Crozier. And uh, tell me about your experience going to school here. Uh, well, I went to school here in the 80s. I went from all the way through. I don't know, I had a great experience. I have super fond memories. Um, it's, I haven't been back since I graduated in fifth grade. It is mm -hmm. amazing to be in this building. This is what I remember as the library. Um, oh. It's yeah. like it's a music room now. Yeah. Or was. But uh, yeah, it's just wild to be back. <laughs> um, do you have any uh, special memories? Special events? I have a lot of special memories. None probably I can share um, on public access TV, um, but I do remember starring as a Martian in a third grade play uh, in the auditorium. Oh, that's very cool. Um, and Mrs. Barger and Ms. Shannon and Ms. Dickie Lane. And um, you know, I had an incredible uh, fifth grade teacher who was so supportive. I took French outside of school and she used to help me with my French even though it wasn't one of the topics at school. Um, yeah, I just had a great experience. Um. How do you feel now? Uh, lucky for the education I got, which, you know, propelled me. I'm a lawyer now. I do civil rights work. And yeah, this was a great foundation.